Next Topic podcast, where the only rule is to stay on topic and no topic is off limits. My name is Lo. My name is Shad. And I'm Kim. And on today's episode, we are going to be talking about sex and relationships, what are important elements elements of a good Good relationship, relationship. (laughs) specifically pertaining to sex today. Yes, okay. Uh Uh-huh. So, the main question is, um, how important is sex in a relationship? Um, Also, comparatively speaking to, like, other elements to a relationship. So, straight off the bat, your initial impressions, how important is sex in a relationship, or is it important to a successful relationship? I think context is key. So depending on yeah. what stage of the relationship you're in, I think that answer to that question changes. changes. However, give me, like, give me more. However, I believe sex is always important in a relationship at every step. I do too. So I'm like, so but how? I understand the- that it changes in a sense that, like, in the beginning, you fucking like jackrabbits, and towards the end. <laughs> You just like having sex in the moment, like we feeling it, boom, bam. But you know how in the honeymoon phase, like that's all y'all want to do: spend time together, fuck each other, yada yada, move on. So I get no one. I, I do want to clarify what clarify. I'm saying. So I guess it's less so. I mean, it is what stage of the relationship you in, you're in, because Cameron, I agree with that. Like when you're fresh into a relationship, you probably are like just like super excited about your partner, right? But not just the stage of your relationship, but also what you're going through as a, like, as a, two a partners. Unit, uh-huh. as, yeah, as a unit. So life happens, right? And there be like, there are life, major life events that happen, mm-hmm. and that might dominate. But does that change the importance of sex in a relationship, yeah. though? So, like, because you, at, at certain times, it becomes less important is what you're saying. At well, certain point. I think other things become more important. So I would I would say I'm not like um Demoting. Demoting it. <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. <laughs> but be, depending on what life events are happening, you might require something else more from your partner to support you through those life events, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it might become that, you know what, I just need but a you good said it come so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it might become that I just need you to rub my feet while we're sitting on the couch watching TV or mm-hmm. just ask me, baby, how you doing today? And really listen intently to me. Even though I need those things at all times, mm-hmm. depending on what's happening outside of our relationship, that just might become more important to me because, first of all, like having sex ain't going to fix that stuff. <laughs> but it doesn't and make you feel better in that moment. Yeah. It is a it, stress reliever. It also depends on how you approach sex, too. Whether it you're approaching it from a like sort of physical form of gratification or perspective or if it's more emotional it could that's emotional a or not I, it can be I both like, too but like if i feel like emotional or not it's still a physical form of gratification whether there's emotion in it or not there's no way that's you don't true feel but the like getting there well that's not people, always true some people don't also always feel the physical gratification of having sex well, yes. part of okay. all the time. well, when I say physical gratification, I don't mean to completion because some women don't get to completion. Or men, some men don't either. More women. Yes, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just talking in general. I think what I meant about physical, like, so there's one thing of like being horny, right? That's your body telling you, you know, whatever. Uh-huh. But then there's another thing to like feel like want to be romantic with your partner and feel in that level of intimacy. You get what right. I'm saying? Where so, it just kind of leads to sex. Right. Are we. Are we like separating like sex and intimacy, or are we combining them both together? I, I think you could. Com- you have to separate them. Yes, they can be combined, but you have to separate them. If you're going to talk about the two entities, there is sex, and then there is intimacy. Yes, there can be yes. intimacy within sex, but they're separate elements. I agree. With I that agree. Because you can have intimacy without sex. I actually sex. really yeah. agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> are you mad? Huh? <laughs> that was a very good point. Mm-hmm. So like. Since we're talking about sex and intimacy, which one of those is more important than intimacy? Inti- yeah, intimacy. Depending <laughs> on what you're building and who you're doing it with. Because if you just 
not in a relationship, you just doing it, it's sex. I mm-hmm. want to be intimate with you. Right. So, okay, so let's <laughs> round this in, like, a full-fledged relationship. Not like you in a relationship, like, with this one specific person. Oh, and you are trying to, like, build it. Let's round our whole conversation in that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Because we ain't just having sex really nilly We talked about that <laughs> before. Yeah. Uh-huh. With the hoes out there. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, then, you know, hoes don't get cold. It is 50 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so you guys would say intimacy. Yes. And a relationship is more important, yes, intimacy by far. Mm -hmm. Why? I think a certain level of intimacy, like, lends itself well to, like, having good sex. Like, without Mm -hmm. it, it just, like, you don't, and like you said, Cameron, like, you don't need to be having sex in order to be intimate with your partner. So I think that the intimacy factor of it all helps open up and make you more vulnerable and when you're more vulnerable you allow yourself to feel more Mm -hmm. which makes the sex more emotional which in turn makes it even better Mm -hmm. it makes it being vulnerable and being intimate creates a judgment free area to where you're like when you're having sex it's a dance like you're just moving it's it's not okay. I'm doing this now. Flip over. I want to do this and now I want to do. It's, but that also it's comes more just from a, well because you because you're intimate with somebody. It don't also mean you also have good sex. So right. Uh huh. But you also got to get Wait, to that dancing said, part. Right. But, but can you explain the, why you say what you just said? Just because well, I'm like because people can be close and like very intimate with each other. Oh, each outside other. of the bedroom. Yeah, outside. Saying, the, yeah, okay, outside. Yeah. The, like because intimacy, like you know, you could like rubbing your feet, like you said, that's intimate. Right, cooking right. you a nice but dinner, what I'm having saying a dinner. Is, that's yeah. really what intimate. I'm saying is that intimacy, <laughs> that, that intimacy <laughs> leads to vulnerability, mm-hmm. and that in turn creates a judgment-free space for when you go to have sex, you're in a space where you feel completely comfortable with your partner and your body, which turns into a higher probability of good sex. Yes. Uh-huh. That's a good point. Yeah, too. I'm going also to the part where you said, <laughs> like, the dancing aspect of it, like, you guys know each other. So the reason that's, why the reason why I said that that's is because the sex. you grounded our, our conversation in a, a relationship where you're building. Mm-hmm. So I'm at a point where we dancing at this point. Because if we grounded... Well, I mean, well, well, you could still be building a relationship and trying to get there, but still... Okay, so in this grounded conversation, how far along are we in a relationship? How far do you want to be? I'm like, I, let's say you're uh, six months to a year. In a, in a pandemic or no? <laughs> right. That's very, in a pandemic, six months, you damn near married. You might as well put a <laughs> ring on it. That's it. Right. I think, like, it's hard for me to put a number on it because some people, like, I've seen people who've been in a relationship for a year have better relationships than people who've been together for 10. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. So I, that's why, like, I left it up to you to figure out. I'm like, and sometimes you having sex with people. You get to that, that dance quicker yeah. than somebody you have like sex more time to that's, play. Yeah, I mean that's just that vibe you have. With, like some people you just click with and it happens. Mm-hmm. It just does. But some people you have to learn that, learn their body and learn how to please them, and they have to learn how to please you. And in time, it turns into that dance. Right. No. I disagree a bit with that. I was just You was just looking to disagree with No, me all Cameron, time. you you know, you've made some good points. Well, I will give you that. Not eight minutes in. Right. No. <laughs> However, comma but. I disagree with the statement you made about like some people would just click I I honestly like I'm a firm believer in like you really getting to learn your partner and um, what they man, like. Even the if reason you, why I'm not going to listen to what you're saying right now. Uh-oh. How many partners have you had? That doesn't mean anything. It, it means a lot because it's no, experience. it's almost like a it's like a fingerprint. Like nothing works. Negative. Like what works for me might not work for another woman. What works for you might not work for another man. And by, and, and that's why to you. you can click with that person. Sometimes. I disagree with you. I think some people do find you somebody just they just click. click and have good sex together. I do think that's fairly possible. I still think Look, you need to learn. You've been married for what, about thirty eleven years now. I still think you need to learn like what your partner likes. Just because you do something well, they might like that particular thing, but you might find out like, oh, babe, I want to try X, Y. But that don't mean the first one wasn't good. Though. I never said it wasn't. But I'm talking about this dance. This whole click, like a dance for, involves multiple steps, right? You shouldn't be. It shouldn't be one person taking the charge at all times, right? Oh, your idea of sex. No. 
You're yeah. trying to please, and when you're having sex, right, both partners you're pleasing should be each pleased. other. Yeah, right, exactly. some people like to be like submissive or aggressive, or yeah. it just depends. Some on. people get off by pleasing their partner. Fine, y'all think y'all got it all figured out? No. no. Next, next no. question. I'm just basing it off of experience levels. If we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna talk about it. Okay. I don't think you need to have sex with a bunch of people to realize. Not a bunch of people. No, he said that. I'm bro I, shy. No, he, I'm, I'm I don't saying, think he said it the way you, the way you, and the way you taking it. I'm just saying based off of how many people you have had the chance to have sex with, you realize that each first time is different. Some people you had that first time with, and it's just, it's there. Mm-hmm. You don't gotta talk. It's just, it happens. And some you just like, okay, we gotta work on it and this and that. And some I don't wanna work on it. I'm done. Mm-hmm. What I would what I would say is I do think it's possible for like some people to be like sexually compatible, like straight off the bat yeah. initially. Now I do think and it's a it's a spectrum, of course. Like some people like this didn't work. <laughs> so we gotta talk our way through this. But some people I think like it's just like just regular dancing. I you think, dance well. I think she feels attacked. Not attacked. You see how she turned her head? <laughs> Do you feel attacked? <laughs> Next question. No! <laughs> <Wow! laughs> Get over yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to it at this point. So oh, wow. Well. We didn't attack you. We didn't like we you did. two damn brothers. Get on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> um, so, is it possible to have a successful, successful relationship without great sex or sex at all? I guess it depends on how important sex is to you. Yeah. Sex with your partner is to you, or like getting that mm-hmm. level yeah. of pleasure from your partner. Well, um, well, for us personally. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Um, uh, repeat no? the question. Um, do you think you can have a successful relationship without being sexually satisfied with your partner? Yes. Yes, on in on the, the conditions on the that, basis of in the conditions that we are working towards learning each other and how to satisfy each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're saying like it's a temporary thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I took you that as you say, like, what it is. yeah, that like forever, like you don't have good sex. That just is what it is. So are is we? Is that relationship gonna we, last for you? Are we open? To, to other people. Yes. Only in the, <laughs> only in the sexual sense. Mm. If it's just purely physical. So that would work for you, though. Like, your partner also... I also would... Absolutely. Having the opportunity. If, absolutely. I am very much... If I can do it, you can do it. But I'm as not long as you like, guys aren't having sex with each other. But if you were having sex with each other... If we're having sex with each other and it's bad, and we aren't satisfied, either one of us, if we are open to going out and having sex with other people, you can go out, I can go out, we can do that. If we want to come home and have sex one of these times and see if something changed, absolutely. But as long really as we realize that it's just physical. Okay, that's the question I want to ask. You think it can just be physical? I think for... I Especially think, when we're talking about how sex could introduce intimacy, right? Yeah. Well, intimacy can in- introduce sex. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. That, but see the fact that we is separated you becoming it vulnerable. Earlier. No, but like did sometimes I feel like no, no, no. Here's the thing. No, we did agree that we separated those things, but that does not mean that they exist like in With silos and without you know other. each other. One, right. two. Um, you might make a decision to do something logically, right? But emotionally, once you're in that position, like you have no control. You're over right. That. Sure. Right. And that's so. This that's the only way it'll work is if. You're open and honest with the communication and what's going on while doing it. Yes, we can do it. Keep it purely physical. If you have that person where it's great and you feel like you're becoming emotionally attached, say something and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But to start off, the ground rules are it's just physical. No emotional, no hanging out after that. You fuck and you go. Mm -hmm. It's just one time. Yeah, my rule. I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, like not going back. Because you know, going, going back, back you yep. start to create. You better get on Tinder or something. That's a good one. <laughs> That's, a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I might give you two, 
But just I mean, then you out here just sleep with a whole bunch of people. Yeah. But um, but I think it also would change depending on if one person is trying to find that for consensus. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. That becomes and I think that's a little bit more, more complicated, common. more common and more complicated as well. Yeah. One point felt like can you like anything I can do, like you can do. Mm-hmm. Um, I, and I guess the question becomes like you would say like, well, I'm not satisfied. She's like, well, I am. Mm. But do you think <laughs> do you think a lot of people stay together, like are having like bad sex or like even like no sex or at no all. sex at all? Yeah. No, I, I know the no sex at all thing. Like, I know a lot of people, when they get to a certain age, <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. uh, grandmoms and grandpops be sleeping in separate rooms. <laughs> but, no, I was just saying, like, in today's, like, today's times, you know, like, a lot of couples, like, when they're starting off, if they had a bad sexual experience with the person they're trying to get to know, and maybe the next couple of times is bad, too, do you think a lot of people are staying together after that? No. I would say no. Because today's world is super hypersexual, so hell no. Do you think that's today, though? I think it's more this generation than before. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think it's. I think it's just people know more things and express their sexual activity more. Yeah. I don't. I think a lot of things are more like closeted, and back then people didn't express it, or people were like shamed and Mm -hmm. guilted for their sexual experiences or advances and things like that. But I just say if you look at them old, like ancient. Greek or whatever painting. Oh, not the I mean, and You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like orgies and shit. All kind of stuff. So like, I think we've always it. We've always been as sexual of beings as we are yeah. today. However, it's gone through these Ed cultural uh-huh. changes where it's you know been shunned. And then yes, mm-hmm. I agree. It's a little more. People are a little more out there with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I do think um, that. I don't think like I think people are more willing to like break off the relationship if the sex isn't good. Mm-hmm. But I do think there are certain conditions that can be met if like or are more acceptable if the sex isn't good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like if you have like all these other things that you the check sex, off every yeah, time. then but the sex yeah. thing, I'm like I might can deal with that. Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right. Now, we I'm, can introduce toys and do anything at this point. Like, right. We're uh-huh. going to figure this shit out. Right. You got every other thing that I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. I'll yeah. jack off. I, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so that brings me to like the other elements of a relationship. Like if we think about like what's more important or like less important than sex. Yeah. So what are those elements that are more important to you in a relationship than sex? Loyalty. Honesty. Honesty, loyalty. Loyalty is a weird one to me. I, I, every time I hear people say loyalty, I, I think like dogs. You, oh. And I'm like, I don't know. It's it's just weird. Mm. Um, but oh. honesty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, flexibility. Ooh, biblical in them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, comprehension is one for me. And I say that Explain more what you mean by comprehension. I say that, and I mean, people say communication is really important. And I can communicate all fucking day. But if you're not comprehending and understanding what I'm saying, I'm talking for no reason. Then are you effectively communicating then? That's a good point. Because some people think they're saying, you think you're saying what you're saying and you're not. I mean, I mean so it could go either way. But can we take, when you, I think when you use that word comprehension, you're putting the blame on a person not understanding you rather than okay. you effectively communicating your point. Okay, yes. so what if you, I mean, most, most times people even... <laughs> Take the time to communicate effectively in said person's love language, mm-hmm. and it's still not comprehended. Right, but so oh, no. I, I agree with you that you're like it's transferring the blame to the person. Mm-hmm. One, mm-hmm. but two, one thing that I've 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 grown to learn and understand in my own relationship is that it's not necessarily because at the end of the day you're two totally different people Mm -hmm. so your vantage point is different and you're always going to see things differently i think it's a matter of acceptance accepting your the way you feel and the way you saw it is your reality yeah and not trying to argue with someone about that saying that ain't it because that's how they experienced it. Yeah. So it's accepting that, but not necessarily, you ain't always gonna really understand. There's so many times where I'm like, I, you are tripping. I do not understand. I don't know why you're tripping like that, but I'm not gonna say that to you because you experienced it differently than I did. I just have to accept that 
what I did made you feel a certain way and okay, so help me understand exactly what I did and I can help you try to um, understand how I might navigate that situation differently. Mm-hmm. Than you. Yeah. Right. And also with communication, communication works as like someone speaking and someone listening. So like you ever been on the phone with somebody like, I can hear you, we have like bad communication. It's not because like what I said, it's like I really couldn't hear you. Mm-hmm. So communication works both ways where you need to tell a person um, what you are trying to communicate and they need to come back and communicate with you that they understood it or interpreted the way that you intended it to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So communication is just not speaking. Mm-hmm. It's also about listening. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Not hearing people listening because there's a difference yeah, between different you things. heard me versus did you listen to me? Yeah. And very much like you said, how sex is a dance, communication is a dance too. You oh, learn yeah. how to like, you know, give and receive messages and stuff like that. So yeah. yeah, communication broken down into all those discrete things we just mentioned <laughs> is it's, very yeah, important. Very important. Yeah. Any, any relationship you have in life, communication yeah. is one of those that is very important. Any other elements you guys can think of? Well, One thing mind. that yeah. we talked about before is like having the same sense of humor. Mm-hmm. I think that's yeah. so important because like I mentioned, like life happens. And if y'all can't laugh at the shit that happens in life in the same way, and one mm-hmm. of you might take it offensively or whatever, yeah. like or that, don't think it's funny. That's, yeah, that's, that's, there. that's tough. And then just even opposite of the low moments, the high moments. Like you want to be able to enjoy those together. Yeah. And if y'all don't have the same sense it's of humor, it, it ain't yeah. happening. Like actually thinking about this question is like, it puts sex so far down on the total pole when it comes to relationships, like, well, relationships that you actually want to take somewhere. Mm-hmm. Not the relationships that you're like, all right, I'm just gonna enjoy this and it is what it is at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it makes sex way less of a priority or of mm-hmm. importance when it comes to other shit. Yes. So, so kind of like goes into like the game I want to do with y'all. Okay. So and like in ranking, you know, I, I love ranking things. And like breaking <laughs> <laughs> the elements of a relationship. You got so elements for it? I got some elements for it. I scoured the internet, psychology today, some therapist to do. I took it from his website. I can't remember his name. Shout out to you. But, so I do have like some elements on some cards. So Lauren, you're gonna go first. You're gonna take two cards and you're gonna say which one of the two is yeah. I rank higher. Yes. Okay. Ooh, ooh, okay, I guess that's my other <laughs> yeah. one. <laughs> so what card do you have, Lauren? So I have feeling understood, accepted and valued, and investment in common interests and values. Feeling understood, accepted and investment in common interests. Um I, I would say feeling understood, accepted and valued I prioritize or like place higher value on Mm -hmm. than investment in common interests and values. Why? Um, I just feel like without, no, I just feel like why be in a relationship if that person doesn't under, like you don't feel like they understand you or value you or accept you. I'm like, but that's we should never even be in a relationship. Investing in investment that. in common interests and values that could be like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to, you know, home buying is important to me. Who? Home buying. So oh, home buying. Home oh, or land, that could be important mm-hmm. to me. Yes, I want you to be down with that too. However, <laughs> if you don't value, if I don't feel like you value me, like we're not in a we're relationship. Not going here. No, we're not going here. Mm-hmm. And with those two, with great sex, how would you rank? Those three, which is one of these more important than sex or not? I think they both are. So I say they both are because this feeling understood, accepted, and valued, in the absence of that, we are not having great sex. Um, because I'm not being vulnerable, we're not going to be intimate. You okay, you follow. Um, <laughs> investment in common interests and values. Now, just taking from that home buying ex- example. I think I would get a lot more satisfaction out of that than having some great sex. I'm sorry, like, yeah. I think, I, you, have, I think, I think you have great sex without investments in common interests. Me too. No, I think you can have, no, I think you oh, can but have more important. Important. But I'm saying, like, yeah. the, the satisfaction out of that, <laughs> like, that can be just, mm-hmm. like, 
you know, life altering. Right. Whereas mm-hmm. this, I mean, it's great, but mm-hmm. it's not going to alter <laughs> the trajectory of your life. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Your turn. You ready? Yeah, I guess so. That was fun. Can you take like those two that. out. You want to take those two out? Yeah. <laughs> we just talked about that. <laughs> okay. It's only four left. That's fine. <laughs> so you're going to do the last two? I guess so. Communication commitment. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, Mr. Lord. Which, one's, <laughs> <laughs> which one's more important? Communication. Because without communication, I wouldn't commit to you. You know what I mean? Like, if I don't know that we can understand each other and can talk to each other when times are tough or when times are great. If I can't, if if I can't see you being open with me, I'm not gonna commit to you. I, I disagree. Flip I do too. Oh, I feel like you need that commitment, commitment in order to be vulnerable nah. enough to have open and honest communication. Nah. Oh, I'm like I'm not gonna sit here and try to have. I'm not gonna pour my heart out to you. Communication. I'm not expecting you to pour your heart out to me, but I also expect well, not open and uh, for sure not true. We know you ain't. No, <laughs> I'm talking about like I would need like some type of commitment first to to know we need to communicate effectively. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I need to know that we can can communicate effectively before I commit my time to you. That's fair. But there are a lot of people in relationships that don't know how to communicate. Yeah. Or are you very they committed. Should've, they should have never went down the road. Exactly. <laughs> no, I'm like y'all communicate effectively, but boo, he not committed to you. He don't want to be with you. That right. part. Ha- but these are my rankings. <laughs> we ain't talking about the rest of the motherfuckers. Well, let's do mine. The Shit. last two are oh three. Wait, but how do you rank sex with it amongst those? Just quickly. I'll probably put. Sex last or first? Great sex over commitment. We got communication. What? Great sex for a no. relationship? Uh, I will Are we talking about no relationship or in general? We did talk about relationships. Oh, well then if it's relationships, then I need to know you committed to me. That's a part of loyalty for me. So yeah, great sex is okay. the end okay. of that. Okay. I'm like, how are you tripping? The last three, <laughs> I found another one, Charles. Um, Who's you hiding it? Um, it was stuck with finances. Um, so Ooh, it's like. <laughs> finances. Okay, <laughs> trust cool. and respect, humor, and finances. Go ahead. Ooh, I know what I could put number one, but go ahead. Um, finances is number one. No, no trust, trust and respect, respect is first. Oh, yes. I, I don't know why I only heard finances and uh, humor. Oh, and humor. Oh, okay. I'm like, can we trip it? I'll put trust and respect first, humor, then finances. Mm-hmm. I would. <laughs> for me. Know. For me, I would do. Like, trust and respect is like a no brainer. Yes, yes, I agree. We got to have 100%. trust and we got to respect each other, each other, or this won't work. Humor is very important to me. So, uh huh. But over finances, and I, I, I don't take nobody. When, there. when I read finances, finances what you mean? I read, I, I take that as just like having the same sort of placing the same sort of value on how like financial know. compatibility. Yeah, like how what you spend and money on, and yeah, things like that. That's what mm-hmm. I. So like, I think that's really important because I. Isn't that one of like the leading causes of divorce is over finance? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, hell no. But I understand for you, humor is more important. (laughs) So when you approach him, you better be on point with the humor. See, the thing is, I I think it's funny that you think humor is more important when, I mean, you could really put humor last because you're just funny in general. But he wants someone to make him laugh. No, no, it's not not going to happen. It's not even one of those. I think because like, Humor is not all, not just about being funny. It's also having a sense of humor. Yeah. Yes. Right. Like, yeah. I can be the funniest person in the world, but if I'm just sitting with you and you ain't laughing at none of the shit I say, I don't want to be with you. Have you ever That's been in that, that predicament? Where you're in the space with someone and they don't like. Well, I'm sorry that I'm a, just a, a top-notch comedian, and that's why I don't. Okay, and why on that, that no. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us. <laughs> and next topic podcast, we hope that you continue this conversation. We hope that you're having great sex in your relationship. <laughs> Remember to like, subscribe, click that link, follow us on, listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. You can watch the video on YouTube. You can follow us at, on Instagram at Next Topic Podcast. You can follow me at C W L K E Y E S on Instagram. You can follow me at Shaz underscore space on Instagram and Twitter. 
Uh, you can follow me on everything at Clicks by Cam, K-L-I-C-K-S-D-Y-K-A-M. To the loo!